how to get extra components and real estate in your Google ad without having to pay extra for a click. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do in your Google ad account. And I'm going to walk you through step by step where you can find it in your account. So make sure you stay through to the end of the video. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Let's go do this. So if you're unsure what I mean about getting extra real estate in your ads, here's what I mean. So I just did a quick Google search for Dentist Sydney. And as you can see here, this first particular advertiser has got an image in their ad, uh, attached to their ad, let's say, and they've got extra links down here. So this is their main, uh, where they're sending the traffic to, but then these particular links go somewhere else on their website. Scrolling down here to the second advertiser also has the image and they've got the same uh, links, but they're not um, presented in this particular way. And this third advertiser has got their address here. So also add another component. I did another Google search here for emergency dentist Sydney just to get some different advertisers. As you can see, this particular advertiser has got the call button as well. This one's got two locations attached to their ad. And this one's also got those links as well. So how do they do it? How do they get these extra uh, components to uh, in addition to the ad they're running. And if you've ever looked on a mobile device, you'll see that if you, um, you know, for particularly competitive terms, you might find an advertiser dominates the entire screen on somebody's mobile phone. So the good news is it's actually really, really easy to do. And I recommend you do it because Google wants you to do it. And actually, they will reward you for doing it by uh, improving your quality score, which will actually reduce your CPC, which is, hey, how good is that? So if I, if I show you real quick in my live Google ad account, I've gone into a live search campaign. I've gone into uh, an ad group and I've gone straight to this asset section. So this is what's called ad assets. It they did used to be called ad extensions because they were extensions to your ad. Now they're called ad assets. And there's a whole bunch of assets that you can choose from. So if I click on the blue button here, you'll see here at the time of this recording, there are 14 different uh, components or assets that you can add to your ad. And you can add as many as you like that are relevant to what you are offering. So this is the image extension that obviously these people were adding. The business name is obviously here. They've got their business name and their logo attached and the business logo attached. These site links, these are the site links that they've got attached here. If I show you real quick for site links, these links go to different pages on your website. So they can't go to the same place that your main ad is going to. So for example, if I scroll up here, this particular advertiser, you can see the bottom down here, goes to the homepage, whereas these particular links, they go to different parts on their website. So you can't send the traffic to the same place. Uh, and so what you do is you just go to site link and you can put in your site link text here which is what will be shown as the text for the hyperlink. And then you put in your descriptions and then that's and the URL of where the site link goes to. So obviously, as you can see here, there are character limits for your site link text as well as your descriptions. And as you can see here, these are their descriptions for their site links. So you definitely want to add descriptions so you can take up even more real estate. Does this particular one have it? No, they don't. So these, that is site link. So let me just cancel this real quick. Going back here, um, these are new and um, I'll sort of, I'm not going to talk about them in this particular video because it's probably in beta. Call out extensions are similar to site links, but they're non clickable. So if I click on this real quick, you can see here, they are, this is where the call out text would be. So they're kind of hard to see um, in your actual ad because they are attached to your ad copy. So if I were to look in an ad here, uh, obviously this doesn't seem to have it, but we don't really know which ones are the call outs, but you see, you'll see here, um, that's where the call out text is here and you can add up to four. And obviously it has character limits as well. Going back here, uh, um, structured snippets. These are um, sort of related to depending on what your kind of business you have. If you have like a service catalog, you know, for the dentist example, you might say, you know, veneers, implants, 
and the different kinds of services you do. But if you've got a business that doesn't really have a service catalog or something that really fits in like courses or anything, you might not be able to use a structured snippet uh, ad asset. I'm a big fan of the call extension. If you have a business that is trying to drive calls, it just works very, very well. So if you click on this, you um, put in your phone number and then uh, call reporting is automatically turned on and you need to set up the call tracking. Uh, so definitely think about adding call extensions. And as you can see here, this is they've got the call extension enabled there. If I cancel that real quick. They've also got a lead form. Personally, I'm not a massive fan of that. And you definitely want, if you also have a local business, you definitely want to attach your location extensions. And as I showed you here, that is how these people have managed to get that. Uh, price extensions, really, you know, some people want to do it, some people don't. It's really individual. The app is obviously to encourage downloads of your app. And the promotions is, you know, where you can showcase your specials, which you may or may not want. It's really um, only really relevant for uh, e-commerce, in my opinion. So there you have it. That's how you get extra real estate in your Google Ads without having to pay more for a click. In fact, you probably pay less because you've improved your quality score. If you like this video, definitely check out our website for all our training courses at teachtraffic.com. Like this video and subscribe for more awesome videos coming your way. Thanks for watching.